All right. One of my favorites, and this is the bunny that's down in a flower pot. It's one of my favorites to do. So what you do when you draw this is you think about a flower pot. So it's almost like a triangle. And you know what? I'm going to... You can do yours in pencil. I'm going to do mine in crayon so you can see it. I always hate how the pencil never shows up. But you're going to draw it out in like a... Almost like a V going down. Now, your bottom, you want very slight smirk smile to it because you're wearing them in the lips and you want that to kind of come out a little bit but not so much you don't want a broad smile you want kind of like I said Mona Lisa smirking smile see just like a little smirk it makes it pop out at you a little bit and the same thing for the rim so when you have your flower pots you'll have the rim and it's the same thing a little smirk as I said not big broad smile but like a smirk I'm doing this kind of backwards and upside down, so mine's a little bit off a bit. If I was doing it regular, I'd probably do it more right there. Yeah. Straight lines up. And the same smirk that's going up. And I'm using my second line because, yeah, see how the one was down just a little bit further? That one's up better. Same thing. Smirk. Like that. So you're going to get your smirk to it. There you go. And that's your flower pot that your little bunny is going to be sitting in. So now we need to do other little things. So how you get the bunny here is you're going to do an oval wiki quit it. Oval at the top. Little bunny tail. Bunny feet are oval. And he's sticking out of the pot. He's getting down in there getting... For me, it'd be all the bulbs. They'd be digging the bulbs out. Yeah, dig the bulbs out. I know. Some of you might not like it. But, and then your tulips. Tulip sticking in. Yep, that's what he's going for. They like to eat those. See? So he's down in there getting your tulips. I know, it's cute though, having a little bunny butt sticking out of the, out of the thing. Maybe not after the tulips are eaten, but they're really cute when they have their butts sticking out. So now I can paint this in. Now I did this on my paper. If you're one of our canvas people and you want to do this one on your canvas with your canvas kit, same thing, but this won't be paper. So now, painting this in, I can color it, I can paint it, I can marker it. I've done all these different types of things. I think I'm going to pull out, I know it's over here, my little art area is getting like, has like every project up here. I just keep setting them up here. I'm going to use one of my watercolors, but you could also use this. If you have one of our canvas kits, I love this one on the bags. And I just put that cardboard in. And I can paint it on my bag. So I have like this little bunny bag on this side for Easter. Especially if you're doing anything for Easter outside. Or uh, doing your little family egg hunt outside. Or even just like if you didn't get Easter baskets. You, know, you can put this on the Easter basket kind of thing. Same thing for this. If you had like a little uh, plain like plastic basket. And you want to do something with it. Get your permanent markers out. And draw this one there. Or even like a paper bag. If you didn't get around to getting a basket. You know one of those giant paper bags. Turn it inside out. Or you can even paint over top any of the logos with some paint. Then you can go in and draw your bunny and you have your own little Easter basket bag. So you can make your own. Now, when I'm doing this, as I said, I'm going to use my watercolors. Just because I like watercolors. But I can color that in or anything else. So now, I'm going to go in and do my bunny. Now my bunny, I'm going to do him the traditional brown. Like you see the bunnies around here. So that's usually brown. And I'm going to dab. And that gets that furriness to it. You can also put some black in there to make it dark. But as I said, I'm going to make him traditional. You can make him whatever color. I mean, if you want a pink bunny or a little blue bunny or whatever else, it's fine. I said, I'm going to do kind of the traditional bunny. And that dabbing is what I'm going with. That little dab. See how I'm doing the dabbing? That's what I want to do. I want to do that dabbing. That makes it look a little bit more interesting. Gives it some more texture. And as I said, I'm doing some browns and blacks. Now, I could do the same thing with crayon. If I wanted to, I can go in and do some dots. I can color a bit and then go in and dot. So you can do stuff with crayons and everything as well. If you're doing the marker and you're doing like my marker technique with uh, making it into watercolor, you put your marker down. And then with your water, you do the same thing and do that. So, but I want to do dabbing. So now I have the little fuzzy buddy butt. Yep. Now going in, I want to go ahead and get my 
my little feet and their feet are usually white. So I, my white's a little dirty here. I'm gonna clean it up real quick because if you get water, watercolors and you wanna clean up, you just kind of rub it and take off that first layer of the paint and you'll get it kind of cleaned up. So that's what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna clean that up a little bit because it was getting a little bit uh, dirty and uh, that just makes it a little bit better. There we go. All right, now I got that kind of cleaned up. See how much more whiter that is? Yeah, so I'm gonna clean that up. Now, for that, I'm gonna go in. Same thing for the tail. And if you have a little bit of brown or whatever mixed in with it, that's okay. And I might not get that line going. That's the one problem with crayons when you're doing this. And I'm only doing crayon because you couldn't see it if I did it in pencil. The pencil line would be covered up. But I'm going to go dab it in. Get that all dabbed in. So there we go. Now I got my little tail. Same thing with the feet. I'm going to dab in that white. And her fuzzy. So I'm going to keep with that dabbing motion. Okay, so now I have his feet all done and his butt all done. Now, the terracotta pot. Now, you can do whatever color pot you want. I like the terracotta. I think that's a little more interesting. And that's kind of an orange. It's kind of an orange and brown. So when I go to mix that up, I'm going to take my orange, which I accidentally got some white in, which is okay. I'm going to take my orange and my brown, and I'm going to just kind of mix together to get that terracotta. Now, if you wanted a little bit more of a reddish terracotta, go ahead and get a little bit of red in there too. That's up to you. As I said though, if you want like a pink or blue or or uh, like those really pretty blue ones, kind of that, like the really bright, kind of like these ones up here I have on my things, that blue china kind, you can do that too. And now I'm going to paint in my terracotta color all around my edges. And I kind of have to decide what kind of tulip do I want. Now, to make your terracotta look a little bit more realistic where it pops out at you, I always go in the brush strokes sideways. So, a little flat brush if you have it. I'm going to go from the edge. See, I'm pulling from the edge. Same from the other side. Pulling from the side. Now, the middle is where my highlight is. So my darker area is here. So I might take a little bit of that white and make like a pastel and start filling in that middle. And I'm going side to side. See, I'm doing side to side instead of, instead of going straight on. So that gives me my terracotta look. So it makes it look a little more, more popping out. It makes it just, you know, a little more realistic. If I just did it up and down, I wouldn't have that. See how that's popping out? Now I could go in and kind of just brushing my water over top to kind of make it a little bit. I'd do the same thing if it was acrylic or whatever, make it pop out. And now I'm going to put just a little bit of black on my edges, a little bit of black. I had black crayon there, but if you had pencil, yeah, I might pop that over just a little bit to make that a little bit more pop out. See how it makes it shadowed? Just a little bit. So now that I have that. As I said, I'm working with watercolor, but you can do the same thing with acrylic, just a little less water. You don't need to add as much. There, now I have my terracotta popping out a little bit. So there's my pot. There's my little, maybe I want my, you know what, I'm, I'm gonna have my, my outside come out just a little bit more. And that's something that you can do with paint. If you, if you kinda like yours, as I said, I want mine popping out just a little more my edge. Maybe made that a little too close. There we go. See how that makes it pop out just a little more? I'm just putting that edge on where I had that, the rim. There we go. This wasn't popping out the way I wanted it. There we go. Now, see how I just put that, I just moved it out just a little bit. I used to have it right up against, but I think a little more realistic. I want that out a little bit. Okay, now my tulips. And that's whatever color tulips you want. I think I'm going to do, I'm going to do red tulips. So if you watched my one video with the watercolor flower that we did on, same thing. I'm kind of making a heart 
See how I made a heart? And then have it a little bit in the middle. And I'm adding just a little bit of white to that to make that pop just a little bit more. So now I have my tulip. Other side, kind of like a heart. I'll even draw that one out so you can see it, like a heart. And then another little area in there. And I usually bring my heart the whole way down, then in the middle. And now I got my tulip and I can just fill that in. I make one lighter, one darker. And if I want to add any white to that back one, there we go. So I made each little petal a different color. I'm going to make it a different color now. Now I'm going to do, I'm going to do like a yellowy one. It's probably going to end up orange because I have stuff on my... There we go. Yep, kind of made it orange. That's all right. I'm trying to clean my brush out that well. It's kind of orangey yellow in that. And then I can paint that in. And I could add more tulips if I wanted to. I'm only going to do three because I like groups of three. There it is. And then my stems. My stems, the same thing. Gonna come up. Gonna come up. Gonna come up. Now, if you wanted a background for this, remember if you watched my watercolor one, you could take your spoon, put a little bit of paint on it. If you're using like the uh, the acrylics and smear that all around before you get started or I can go in afterwards and do that as well. If you're doing watercolor, I'm gonna leave mine plain, but you can go in and do all sorts of stuff with it, such as uh, you know, leaves or grass or any of that stuff too. I'm gonna do my leaf. There we go, kind of like those triangles. And as I said, I'm using a watercolor on this, so woohoo, look at that. And I'll put some grass around. Whatever color of grass I want, all I'm doing is pulling paint from the bottom. If I go from top to bottom, it's going to make the thinner part on the bottom where grass grows from down from the ground and up. So you want to do that motion. Go down from the ground and up. Same thing. And if I want to put some little flowers or dandelions or something like that in there, you can do that too. So there is my little bunny in a pot. <laughs>